The Volkswagen Passat and Skoda superb large family cars have long been twins under the skin. But the new superb appears to be closer to its relative than ever before, and emissions rules mean it will take a power cut. The Skoda Superb and Volkswagen Passat have historically been twins under the skin, but with completely different bodywork, and a stretched floor pan and larger footprint in the Skoda. It may be a move to reduce costs, and the investment in different production tooling, given declining sales of both models which mean they do not sell as strongly as when the previous Passat and Superb generations were on the drawing board. The move to share the new Skoda Superb and Volkswagen Passat will translate to a significant growth spurt for the latter, but only a modest increase for the former. The new VW Passat wagon is 144mm longer, 4,917mm 20mm wider, 1,852mm 7mm taller, 1,482mm and 50 mm longer between the wheels, 2,841 mm wheelbase, than the vehicle it replaces. But the new Skoda Superb Wagon, the only body style it shares with the Passat, is only 40 mm longer, 4,902 mm, and 5 mm taller, 1,482 mm, than its predecessor, as the old Superb was one size larger than the outgoing Passat. The wheelbase of the new Superb is unchanged from its predecessor, and it is 15 mm narrower, which could see a reduction in shoulder room for rear passengers. Meanwhile, the Skoda Superb liftback is 43 mm longer, 4,912 mm, 15 mm narrower, 1,849 mm, 1,481 mm taller, 12 mm, and unchanged in wheelbase, 2,841 mm. Skoda claims front and rear passenger headroom measurements have increased by 6 mm to 11 mm, while boot space is now rated at 645 liters, up 20 L, in the liftback, and 690 L, up 30 L, in the wagon. Alongside the high output 195 kilowatts turbo engine, European buyers will be offered a 150 kW version of the 2.0-liter turbo petrol four-cylinder, a 110 kW 1.5-liter mild hybrid turbo petrol four-cylinder, and 110 kW and 142 kW 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder diesels. A plug-in hybrid, not planned for Australia, is also available combining a 110 kW 1.5-liter turbo petrol four-cylinder with an electric motor for 150 kW combined, a 25.7 kWh battery, up from 12.7 kWh in the old model, and more than 100 km of claimed driving range. All engines except the 195 kW 2.0-liter petrol and 142 kW 2.0-liter diesel, which get all-wheel drive, are front-wheel drive, while seven-speed dual-clutch transmissions are standard in all but the six-speed plug-in hybrid. Photos of the interior are yet to be published, but Skoda says there will be a large 12.9-inch touchscreen, matching the Passat, and the gear shifter has moved from the center console to the steering wheel column. Top-of-the-range models will be available with matrix LED headlights with a crystal glass element called, crystallinium. Available safety systems will include 10 airbags, autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian, cyclist detection and intersection assist, front and rear cross-traffic alert, and a 360-degree camera with improved camera quality. Skoda offer the center console's party trick will be those three knobs incorporating 1.25-inch screens. Skoda calls them smart dials and mentions they're configurable in the sense that you can choose what they do. The outer ones are used to adjust the seat heating and ventilation as well as the interior temperature. The new Superb gets a technology boost since it uses more advanced matrix LED headlights with 40% extra light output. It's also available with upgraded adaptive dampers, which come as standard on the Lorin and Clement flagship trim level. 
The Posh L and K is available with all powertrains and body styles, offering a standard 14-speaker Canton sound system, massaging front seats, and unique leather, leatherette upholstery. VW offers all models get a 10.25-inch digital dash fitted as standard that features four configurable displays, while there's a new head-up display available. Physical buttons make a return to the steering wheel, while the drive selector has been moved to the steering column, like in VW's ID. Models. To free up more storage space on the center console, which offers a pair of cup holders and plenty of bins and cubbies. On this front, there's a range of premium level gadgets too, including IQ. Matrix LED headlights, Park Assist Plus and Park Assist Pro. Park Assist Plus is a familiar VW system that allows driving into or out of spaces automatically, while the latter is capable of this with the driver not sitting in the vehicle, possible thanks to the car's capability to remember the last 50 meters of its journey. The usual level of driver assistance and safety tech is on offer, too.